Quick question, what's better than one fully built agency arms gun? Two fully built agency arms guns. Sunday gun day. What's going on everyone? Back with another quick episode of Stuff and Things. Today we are looking at the Agency Arms Glock 19. You've already seen the video of mine, but this one is completely built by them, frame, slide, and all. I will be taking this 19, shooting it, putting it through its paces, but then I'll be comparing it to the Agency Arms M&P. Both of these guns are 9mm, double stack, striker fired, very comparable handguns. As most of you know, I prefer Glock, so I have one of these myself. However, after putting my hands on the M&P, I think this is gonna give the Glock a run for its money. First, let's take a more in-depth look at the 19. So this is Panda Tactical's fully built Glock 19 by Agency Arms. The similarities that this has to my gun is the Urban Combat Slide, an RMR on top, suppressor height sights, Different sights, but you get the picture. My 19 is also rocking the Agency barrel, whereas this has the threaded S3F barrel. Surefire XC1 on the front, like I did a review on in the past, and that's about where the similarities end. This frame was completely done by Agency Arms with the thicker back strap, whereas mine does not have that. They stipple the entire thing, they got an undercut trigger guard, stippling on the trigger guard as well, accelerator cuts on each side. They actually even have their own Agency flared magazine wells, which is a nice touch. My 19 is rocking an Agency drop in trigger, whereas this one is match fit by the them. I've had no issues with the drop-in trigger, but if I had to guess, I'm gonna say this one is much better because it's hand fit. Now the M&P. So the good old Smith & Wesson M&P. If you guys haven't seen my video on the original M&P, not the 2.0, but just the original M&P, check that out at the link right here. That thing was completely stock, not a fan of it, especially not a fan of the trigger. However, this is agency, so I have a feeling this trigger is gonna be really, really good. As far as the package on this thing, very similar to the Glock. It's got the Urban Combat Slide set up for an RMR or any kind of optic that you wanna run on here. Same kind of stippling and grip package. I believe they undercut the trigger guard a little bit. Um, it feels really good in the hand. The other M&P that I shot that I did a video on, I wasn't a huge fan of the way it felt, but this one is a little bit slimmer. It fits my hand very well. And look at this thing. Also not a huge fan of the way M&Ps look, but this thing looks awesome in my opinion. Agency just does really, really good work. Is it expensive? Hell yeah, it's expensive. But, I mean, you get what you pay for. The serrations on the front of this thing are really sharp. It's not ripping off your skin sharp, but you can definitely get a good purchase on there. The slide also feels really smooth, but let me just shoot them and then I'll come back and give you a first mag impression. I already have a good idea of how this thing's gonna shoot. The only thing that I think will really be drastically different is the trigger, like I mentioned. Instead of wasting a bunch of ammo on this, I'm just gonna shoot one big old freedom stick and uh, get my impressions with that. That's better. All right, on to the M&P. Oh, man. Might get one more mag on this before I give you my impression. Another mag, probably one more because it looks like it's about to tornado where we're at right now. Let's make this quick.
All right. All right, my thoughts. My thoughts on the fully built agency Glock 19. This, compared to mine, the only thing that is really noticeably different is the trigger, but the trigger isn't really that different. Mine's the agency drop-in trigger, this is the match fit trigger. This does feel a little bit better. You can check out the pull and the reset. The take-up is a little bit less than the drop-in trigger. Not gritty at all. Brake is really clean. Reset, as always on most Glocks. Super audible, tactile, you can see it. You can see my finger pop out and then it's right up against the wall again for your next shot. As far as the stippling goes, it's simple and effective. Since the texturing is so fine, it almost feels like sandpaper grips that you might put on your guns. I don't think it's too aggressive though, so if you're appendix carrying this and it's rubbing up against your skin all day, I don't think it would be that uncomfortable to be honest with you. Undercut trigger guard is obviously nice, the magwell is nice. It's a pretty solid package and I'm pretty sure you guys know my opinion on guns like this. Now the M&P. This thing definitely impressed me compared to the first one that I shot. Obviously, the first one wasn't modified. The slide feels good, you can definitely tell that it's lightened stipple package the same as the agency glock 19 undercut trigger guard is nice to get rid of that glock knuckle one thing that i almost forgot to mention about the other one is the accelerator cuts these things are super super defined and they're really nice riding your support thumb on top of that really helps you control the muzzle rise and i wish more companies would actually do that because i'm finding that i enjoy that more and more every time i shoot a gun like this now let's get down to the thing that really impressed me about this gun and that is the trigger as i said before i didn't like the stock mmp trigger not many people do apparently they fixed it in the newer version which this this one is, but the trigger is obviously from agency now. The take up on this is a lot less than the 19. You can barely see the trigger move and it's already at the wall. The brake, super crisp, not quite as heavy as the 19. And then the reset, kind of audible, tactile, not quite as much as the Glock, but it definitely improves over my initial complaints about the stock trigger of the M&P. Now shooting this, you pull the trigger, reset, you may not be able to hear it as much as you do on the Glock, however, you can feel it and that's really the main thing. As long as I can tell through my finger where the trigger is resetting, then that's good enough for me. Then again, this is all my opinion. So out of both of these guns, which do I prefer? Well, I prefer certain things from each of them. I normally don't run my Glocks with this back strap on here, so this is a little bit too big for my hand, at least for my taste. So as for the grip and how the gun feels in my hand, that one is gonna go to the M&P. I actually prefer the way this feels in my hand over the 19 with the added back strap. Slide packages, eh, they're both super similar. Looks wise, I prefer the way the Glock looks. Functionality wise, they're pretty much the same. The M&P does run more front serrations, which I do like, but I can't say that that's enough to choose this over the Glock. And then the triggers, when it comes down to this, believe it or not, I'm actually gonna choose the M&P over the Glock. I was kind of hoping for a better feel out of this one. I thought that a match fit trigger would feel better than a drop in trigger, which it does a little bit, but something about this trigger, it just feels better to me. The reset on this is more audible and tactile. The take up is a little bit longer. Shorter take up, tactile, audible reset. Not as pronounced, but I'm still gonna give the win to the M&P. So final thoughts, and this one might surprise you. If I had to pick between this exact gun or this exact gun, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Smith & Wesson. That's probably a huge surprise to all of you because you know I like Glock so much, but if this was fitted with an RMR that was zeroed, I think I would actually really enjoy having this pistol as my own. So that about wraps up this video comparing the two heavyweight contenders, Glock 19, Smith & Wesson, M&P, both from Agency Arms, full packages. If you guys have any questions about something that I didn't cover in this video, you want my opinion, feel free to leave a comment down below. Can they buy these from you guys? They can come to you. All right. <laughs> As you know, both of these guns were supplied to me by Panda Tactical, so if you're looking to get into one of these guns or you want a better, more professional opinion on these, feel free to shoot them an email. They have way more knowledge about these guns than I do. They are professionals, I am not. I will leave a link to their website below. Hit them up, just say what's up. Pick up a t-shirt if you want to. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. And as long as you guys keep liking these videos, I'll be doing more Sunday gun days just like this one that you watched. That is it for today. It is still super hot here. I think we got one more video to film, so check back next Sunday for that. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.